guys, it's Tracy from Stampin' Away with Tracy, and I want to show you another simple card that you can put together today very easily. And we're going to use the Poppy paper from Stampin' Up, and it comes in the mini catalog from page 25. So let's turn there so I can show you the whole suite. It's right here. It's the Peaceful Poppies Designer Series Paper. It's 12 by 12. You get 12 sheets, two of each, and they're six double-sided. They are so beautiful, the paper is. It really is. And we're going to be working with this Painted Poppies Bundle right here. And that's on page 25 also. If you're interested in a catalog and you don't have one and you don't have a demonstrator, click the link below and fill that out, and I'm happy to get you one. Also, if you'd like to join my email list, I'd love to have you fill out the link below, um, the same link, and put in your email address, and I'll be happy to include you on the next email. Okay, let's get started. What we're going to use today is Blackberry Bliss ink, and we're going to use the Painted Poppy stamp set. We're going to be using this one here. It's my, one of my favorites. Love it. And for our sentiment, I needed a thank you card. So I pulled out this Good Morning Magnolia and it just says thanks. So it's a very simple card today. And we are, for our sentiment die, we're actually using this die right here also. So let's get started. This is Whisper White. It's 11 inches and it's four and a quarter wide. It is scored at five and a half from both ends to make it exactly in the middle. And this is Blackberry Bliss, and it's two and a half inches wide, five and a quarter long, and two inches wide, five and a quarter long. I will list these below the video so you don't have to worry about memorizing. So let's get started. So we're gonna take this designer series paper and we're gonna put some multi-purpose liquid glue on it. I'm also using a new camera today, or camera stand. So, if you like it, leave it in the comments. Let me know um, if the stand looks better, um, if it works better, the videos look nicer. I think so, but I kind of need an unbiased opinion. So, let's put this on here. There we go. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we're kind of going to make our own designer series paper. And how we're going to do that is we're actually going to stamp around this because, I'm going to show you, that didn't make much sense, did it? Let me, for some reason I didn't clean my stamp before. So what we're going to do is this is going to go down the middle and we're going to do some stamping on the sides. So you need to use, this is a foam one, so we need to just use a light touch. I'm just gonna put three, I think three is all we need. So just wanna wipe my glass down with my chamois, because I think I got a little bit of ink on it. I don't wanna get it on my Whisper White. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my ink up. So, on this, this is how we're going to put this, right here. And I just wanted to add just a little bit of interest around it on the white. I thought the white was too stark. So, I thought I'd go with a tiny bit of interest there. And now we're going to use the multi-purpose liquid and adhere this down. Now, we've got that adhered. Let me make sure that's centered. It's hard to see with the lights when I use these videos. There we go. Now, that's pretty much centered. Okay, our sentiment, we're gonna do a thanks. And we're gonna do this here. But before I put that on, I'm gonna use some Wink of Stella inside the petals for this, just 
to give just a little sparkle, gives a little bit of interest to the card. Now, you have to make sure you stay out of the lines of the ink because it will blur a little bit. So, just be really gentle when you do that. See, I got out of the lines. I don't think you're going to be able to see it when it's done, though. Okay, that just adds just a little bit of wink Castello there. Now, I'm going to put my thanks here. Think and then I kind of want to do these. Maybe I'm not quite sure. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensions to pop this up. So, I like mine to be really solid, um, so I'm going to use four, one in each corner, so that they'll be really solid, and it'll lay down really nicely on that. But don't y'all just love this Blackberry Bliss against the white, Whisper White? It's just really, really, really pretty. I really like it. I love this paper. I say this every time they come out with a new catalog. This is my favorite ever paper, but I really like this Poppy Parade. I mean, I'm sorry, the Painted Poppies. <clears throat> so, I really like it. So, here we go. Okay. Now that's on. Whoops, that is really crooked. So, let's see if we can't put that in place. There we go. Then, <clears throat> I'm really not quite sure if three is too much. Maybe, maybe three is too much. I kind of like it like that. So, what we'll need to do on that is put this one, we'll have to go, in the back, we'll have to go flat down. So, let's go ahead and put this one down up here and these can be popped up a little bit which I think will look nice I just need one on these I think that'll be fine okay let's do that one there Do this one here. Now, don't forget to send these beautiful cards. Or if you can't, um, if it's not in your budget to mail everything, give them out at church. People will love that. Now, look at that. Isn't that cute? Very simple. Not fancy, but it doesn't need to be fancy. Now, let's put some interest, even more interest on there. Let's use the Peaceful Poppy sequins. I don't know my own strength. So, let's get our tool. And kind of dig around in there. I like the black ones. And we're gonna use, put it right on here. See how I'm doing that? How easy that is and then you just kind of scoop it up gently it's scooped and the next thing we're going to do is let's get a different I was thinking about some poppy parade color there we go here is another one Let's get our tool. I call this my picker because I feel like I do a lot of picking with it. Now I like three to go in threes. 
So let's see what else we can get. I'd like to do a gold one. And I really like these. I really think these this um, sequins is something we can use on other projects. I love the gold. Uh, the black is always good. And it's got the poppy parade, which I love. So I do feel like these sequins are good buy because I feel like you can use them on other projects and other paper and different things that come out. So there you go. This is just a very simple card. Whoops. Almost spilled my sequins. That's what I need to do a video on, on how to not spill your sequins. So very simple. It's not fancy, but it is beautiful. And I think anyone I send it to will be grateful for that. I'm so glad you joined me today. Don't forget to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Thanks, guys.